Hello Nippies, welcome back. And if you're new here, hello, I'm Nips, a freelance artist. And today we are gonna be working on a speed of paint voiceover of my first D&D character. I'm completely new to D&D. I have about like three sessions under my belt and it's been super fun to experience it and finally get to see what it's all about. And so today I'm just gonna walk you through the first time I ever drew my character. So if that's something you wanna watch, go ahead, keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Yay. All right, so I guess we'll start off with my characters like traits. So they are a drow, phantom rogue from Zendrick. And I ended up joining a campaign that was already running. They were like at level six, we're currently level eight. They found a way to kind of just bring me into the story and honestly DD was something i've always wanted to try but i was too scared one because i was like dude this shit is mad cringy like not like not like me hating on it i mean like me picturing myself in the situation made me feel cringy for me because i had always consumed it and seen other people do it and admired how like they would be able to do it but i could never envision myself in it even though i wanted to try it anyway and so i feel like i just got really lucky that i had like a really good group of friends and a really good dm to kind of guide me through the whole process and just make me feel really comfortable and it is so far the complete opposite of cringy at least for me i don't know it's obviously not for everyone but honestly if you're thinking about trying it please go ahead and do I decided to go with a rogue because I was told that a rogue is like the easiest thing to play because you don't really have to learn that much. You have like sneak attack and fucking, <laughs> there you go. There's your whole kit. And so they're kind of up my alley in terms of like personality type on what I would make as a character anyway. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do that. I ended up researching a bit about the lore because I was told, you know, like there are different types like Phantom Rogues from like Zendrick and then there's different like you can be a different um, drow, like a type, different type of drow from Zendrik. So they have like the Volkori, the Sulatari, you have the, the, Eber, the Mbragan, and then the ones that like defected and left like Zendrik after the, the giants fall. I don't really know the lore too much. Oh my God, if I'm butchering this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, and so I read up a lot on it. I didn't know how much was too much and how little was too little, but I ended up writing a, a pretty nice story. Their name is Kaxar. They are a uh, them fatale, as one of my party members calls them. And I pretty much knew more or less what I wanted the character to be in terms of personality. So they're pretty like, I, I would say like chaotic good. And they are very quiet, like loner, trust issues. They don't speak that much, um, only when it's kind of necessary. They're very protective. You know, when they finally get attached to someone, like they're, they're like that type. And um, I wanted them to have a very soft face, not expressionless, but more like, kind of like a gentle, like a very soft, gentle face and not very emotive. They have scars all over from, they're supposed to be Volkori scars. And so I guess the TLDR would be that they're, they have a scorpion necklace because of Volkori. So the TLDR would be that they're originally Sulatari, but the Sulatari are basically the drow that after the giants fell, ended up still following in the giants footsteps. So they still like firebend and stuff. If I'm wrong on any of this, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to recall it from the very brief knowledge that I remember and that I have. Okay, so their parents were like obsessed with necromancy and from what I remember that I read was that after the giants fell, some of the drow, like they defected to this place called like Aranath or something. And there, their specialty is like necromancy. And so like Kaxar's parents are obsessed with this. And so 
Throughout their entire childhood, their parents were just kind of like dreaming of the day that they could leave Zendrick and then go there. Basically TLDR, one day they do, they just leave. And I think Kaxar was like 10 or something, or 10 or 15, and they just leave them there. And so Kaxar's parents are now deemed traitors, and then Kaxar has to basically like run as well. And they start living in the jungle. They find this dinosaur, which is no they're normal in Eberron. And so they find this dinosaur that's like mutilated, probably from hunters that have come to Stormreach. And so they decide to nurse them back to health and they become best friends. And they live in the jungle and they name them Pep, P-E-P, -E and then one day Pep gets taken by the Vulcori. So Kaxar follows them in order to see if they can save Pep, and this old Vulcori woman basically sees them following and sees them like with Pep, and she decides to approach Kaxar and basically help them infiltrate the Vulcori so that they can get Pep back. Kaxar basically comes in as this woman's relative and she says that they've just been traveling or whatever and basically Kaxar becomes like the handler and so they essentially now become like Volkori and so this woman gives them the Volkori scars and then they like heal overnight because anime so she does like some medicine stuff and you know anime because we need we need plot and drama right? So for a couple years they they live there and one day for the old woman's like birthday or whatever she really liked Kaxar's firebending but they don't firebend because of course they would be discovered as Sulatari and so they take her out like into the jungle and they do like this fire show and basically they get caught and they kill the lady and then Kaxar goes wild One of the people that comes to check up on them gets away and then tells the rest of the of the group. And by the time Kaxar goes back to see, um, Pep is gone. And so the old lady's dead, Pep is gone, Kaxar is on the run again. Their whole goal is basically not only to survive, obviously, but to find Pep. And so when they join the party, they're kind of like stealing food from the cart and stuff. They decide to stay with the group because they're on a quest and getting paid a lot of money. And they're like, you should stay with us. And they use it as kind of like, a, well, I'm getting paid and like, I need to find Pep anyway. And so that was a very TLDR, boring explanation of my character's backstory. So I decided to go ahead and design their top part here because I had already one session after I made this. I have had since then, I think like three sessions. I'm not like too far in. I wanted to at least get their, their bust down and a little bit of their expressions. That necklace there, that is a scorpion necklace, but that belongs to the old lady. So that was like the only thing that they had left of like the old lady. It's been interesting to role play as this character which I feel like the hardest part is or the hardest part was because I feel like I'm used to it now but at the beginning it was hard to know like being in character or being like out of character but I feel like at least the group that I'm in because I don't really know how it is they made it so easy to kind of flow in and out of the character and you almost just kind of get used to like everyone's in and out of character moments and it feels so good to just see everyone's character development and like interact with them and hear about their lore and like learn about their characters and everything is just so fun so i don't know maybe maybe this video was a little too nerdy but i had fun it was fun creating a character i do want to draw them full body at some point and um i did draw two scenes after this 
but I figured it would be too much for one video. So maybe I'll turn that into another video. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Do you guys play D&D? &D? Do you guys like it? Do you want to play D&D? &D? Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Go ahead and follow all my socials down below if you guys want to keep up with my work and subscribe if you guys like the content. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.